What's good to my SG family? SG the game. Sport SG Chamber. I'm coming back with another vid. Oh. Doing another reaction vid. Today is a little different though. I ain't doing it to no uh to no uh, song. I'm actually doing it to a weird addiction. Really. I'm going, I'm going a little different. Route, I guess, but I hope everybody is you know good doing this quarantine situation or whatever. You feel me? Hope everybody you know staying cleaned up, prayed up, and you know whatever you need to do to get through the day, through the week. You know. But without further ado, let's get the intro popping, y'all. Look, man, just say it like this, bro. I try not to pause it so much, but I ain't gonna lie, this is my first time, you know, rock, watching anything like this. I don't, I don't, I don't watch TV or none of that at all, bro. So, this is my first time really seeing it. It's gonna be y'all probably first time. If not, oh well, just gonna get my reaction off of it. So, let's get into this video, you feel me? See how, let's see how this, how weird this lady is uh she addicted to being an adult baby i guess so we finna see how how addicted she claims she is my name is riley i'm 25 years old i live outside of buffalo new york and i'm addicted to being an adult baby she i dress a... as a baby as often as i can whenever i come home a big i always slip in one of my cute little outfits and it helps me wash away all the stress of the big, tough world. Shit. Riley has turned her bedroom into a nursery. She sleeps in her crib. And uh, yo, she, yo, she had diapers, a pacifier sitting on everything, bro. I don't see how people could do. I don't. I don't man, bless, bless, bless her heart. I don't see how people could just do this stuff for real. Whether they getting paid for it or not, I don't know. No. Every night. I love pajamas, especially footy pajamas. Things with ruffles and pink. I love having my hair in pigtails and sucking on my pacifier. I spend 12 hours a day just as a baby. That's over 4,000 hours a year. Yeah, that's too much. I started wearing diapers when I was about 13, and then that kind of gradually turned into fascination about pacifiers and onesies and baby or diaper accessories. When I was younger, I felt shame. I was afraid that I wouldn't be able. I ain't gonna lie. I, I know she don't got no husband, bro. If she got a husband, bro, like, like if she got a husband, bro, I don't even know what to do. I don't know, bro. Ain't no way no dude finna sit with, with a lady, a 25-year-old at that. Being a, dressed up as a baby, bro. Y'all been in the same bed or crib since she want to act like a baby. Same crib. All that, bro. Bro, no. No, bro. All right, I'm, I'm going to get back to it, bro. To have a normal life doing this. Riley's friend James is one of the few people who knows of her strange I thought there was a boyfriend. It's her friend. Though. I first found out about Riley's addiction maybe about three or so years after we became friends. I was a little surprised. You don't run into too many adults that like to dress like babies. You don't. I know it's something that is very unique to me, and I definitely don't tell people. Yo, she literally had... Yo, she literally had a... I mean, it's kind of obvious now because she said she had, you know, just a dope, but she... Had a fucking uh, motherfucking uh, bottle. I don't know why it made me a bottle. Sipping on a bottle, bro. Yo, I, I can't. Bro. Unless I think they're gonna be okay with this, it's my little secret. Riley is also transgender. What? Yo, see, lady, they just, the lady says she transgenders. You, 
You transgender to being a dope baby. Then you said it's your little secret. So if you're a little secret, yeah. how? So, so if this is your weird addiction, how, how you doing when you outside the, you know, going to the grocery store? So, do you, you you still dress up as a baby? Since it's your little secret, you don't want nobody to know that you dress like this when you go to the grocery store or something. You feel me? She was born a male, but always felt awkward and out of place. Five years ago, Riley began living as a female. I believe that gender is something that you can choose. I very much believe that I'm a girl. It just feels it's so comfortable and it's just so right for me. Wow, a bottle and a footy sleeper? Mm, yeah. Don't you think that's a bit much for just hanging out with the two of us? I kind of like it. It makes me kind of feel younger and like a kid and stuff. Riley is so engrossed in her addiction, she spends nearly $400 a month on accessories like diapers, baby powder, and bottles. It didn't cost that much for real for a, re a child. But you as an adult, your money could be spent somewhere very, very valuable. You, you, you taking away from, from parents that really need it because you want to dress up as an adult you taking all the bottles away all the pacifier all the formula and i don't think she probably need no formula but you know you y'all know what i'm trying to say she she taking away all this stuff for people that's really in need you feel me? just just for something like this she wears diapers 24 hours a day well, these are definitely my favorite type of diapers, the briefs. They're the crinkliest, they're the most absorbent, and they... Okay, so she dressed regular out in public, but at home, she dressed as a baby. Then, I mean, I mean, I mean, it is kind of addition because of all the hours and stuff. But it's like, if you're out in public, but she, she probably got no friends in her, so she probably be at home anyway, so yeah. They have the tapes on them, so you actually have to go through the whole process of diapering. Wetting my diapers is just something that kind of comes naturally with wearing diapers. The feeling of release and the feeling of comfort of a, of a warm, wet diaper is, is really something that is very special to me, being an adult baby. It makes me feel different ways. Sometimes it makes me feel really happy, sometimes it makes me feel kind of sad. Riley hasn't been able to find a long-term relationship. Of I course. Know that ultimately, most people aren't okay with this. Is she too entrenched in the baby lifestyle? Will her addiction stop her from living a full life? I do worry about Riley's addiction. Her life would probably be a lot easier if she didn't do this. But I don't know if she really would ever want to stop. Sometimes I wish that I wouldn't have gone down this path, but usually it takes just a half a second to go, Oh, come on, Riley, you love this. <laughs> I do wet my diapers, but I don't do anything else in them. I never have to use public restrooms. Which... Yo, this, she put, I mean, I, y'all know, but she put, she put powder in her, in his diaper, wet in the diaper. I don't think, me personally, I never heard nobody wet a baby diaper. I mean, yeah, diaper and none of that. So I like, This, this is, if it get any weirder for this, bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'll probably be yelling, bro, because this don't make no sense. Like, right now, I'm chill because it, it's, it's disappointing. You feel me? Even though I don't know her, but I hope it don't get no worse than this. Which is, you know, something that is very lovely because public restrooms are horrible. You taking away a thousand diapers a year because you because you want to be a baby them thousand di diapers could go to somebody else a, a, a toddler you feel me few people know of riley's addiction it's hard to tell somebody because there's always been that fear that they will completely be super negative to me and judgmental candace has been one of riley's closest friends for over seven years 
but because Candace lives in another town, she has no idea Riley is living most of her life as a baby. No, 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 no. You know somebody for seven years and you ain't find out about no addiction about them being a baby? Hey, they, hey. Hey, they playing, bro. No way, no way, bro. No way. Today, Riley is finally ready to confide in Candace and reveal her addiction. Um, you know, I'm transgender. You know, I've been living as a girl for... Ever. You know all about that, but I have something to talk to you about. Um, okay. I'm just going to give it a minute, and I'll come out and talk to you about that, all right? Okay. Cool. <laughs> I, I don't have any idea what's going on, but I hope everything's okay. Candace? Hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> What I wanted to tell you was that I am addicted to being a baby and wearing diapers. This is my uh, <laughs> oh, friend little little like, what the fuck? Son. What? I don't know what I was expecting to see. Um, it was definitely a surprise. This, uh, this bird is really awesome. Anyway, it's like, kind of it's like she ain't even want to be a friend animal, animal. You know, antique Y'all see her face, bro? And forgive me for being a little... <laughs> well, I didn't do this because I, you know, wanted to shock you or anything. You know, we've been friends for a long time. I'm glad you told me. Oh my god, I was nervous. This is quite a lot to take in, but at least you didn't scream and run out of the apartment. You know, I never got a chance to be a little girl, you know? I mean, I grew up a little boy, and, and so it's nice to be able to create new memories. I ain't gonna lie, though. I was a friend, though, like, if I... Based off of religion, like me, if I was her friend, no, I couldn't be her friend. But if I even knew about it, you feel me? <laughs> if I even knew about it, like, I would have, like, talked to her, like, hey, you need some help, bro. Like, you need some help. It's a dude, so yeah, I'm a, bro, you need some help, bro. I'll pray with her, too. I'll pray with her, because this ain't it, bro. This ain't it. You wasting people, you, pay, you wasting stuff, and then you just not going right you could be doing something else so like she could have been when well, i see well uh, this person could have been you know a top computer engineer or something you know it could have been some some else but except wasting our time being a dope baby bro am i sounding like completely crazy right now well i mean obviously it was a shock walking in but i'm really glad you told me i don't think it changes how i feel about her it's her life. I really just want Riley to be happy and healthy. I don't feel like what I'm doing is wrong or dirty or weird. There's no reason it, for me to stop, so why? It is weird. It ain't dirty. But it's, it's weird. It's weird, strange, all day. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't find it weird. Yeah, it's definitely weird. I should I? So this is my nursery. I would like to kind of get some background information because the only way we can really understand ourselves is to have a context. I got bullied a lot. When I was in eighth grade, I was thrown down stairs by just a bully and I broke both my wrists at, at that point and it was very traumatic. How did that affect you? How did you feel about yourself? I just... No, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I'm not gonna say that make that should make her go to the house the way she is. You feel me? But like, bullying ain't no way acceptable. You feel me? Any any type of bully, cyber bullies, you know, any different types. I don't. I'm really know that all the types of top of my head, but bullying all around ain't acceptable. You feel me? just felt kind of like, you know, a little worthless. I don't necessarily feel I do this because I had all of these negative things in my life. I, I challenge you a little bit on feeling like this aspect isn't 
very strongly related to your experience. It's not possible for someone to make her change. It's her coping skill. So trying to definitely, tell her that she just yeah. has to stop, she'll just drive it underground. I see no reason to change. I love the way I live my life, and I'm going to continue being an adult baby. Stupid. 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 We're going to continue to live, be a dope baby. You talk to a psychiatrist, feel me? What was the point of doing that, bro? If you just go continue to do what you do. I'm done, bro. Come through blessing right. like the heat. I ain't doing shit. Ain't do. Yo, so, so, world shame. Blunt just flame. Wash just blame.